Welcome back to Midwest Access. If you've been in downtown Manorville, you've seen the chocolate. You've seen the chocolate shop here right off Main Street. This is the owner. This is Lynette Nash. She's joining us along with Chris Pluto and a pup. Who's the pup? Maisie. Maisie. Okay, we'll get to the pup shortly. But Lynette, thank you so much for inviting us into your shop. Well, thank you for coming out and talking about our town. Yeah, so we are preparing for the big fall festival coming up on Saturday, but we have to show off the shop a little bit because this is a really unique spot right across from the Hubble House. Anyone who goes to the Hubble House sees it right here. How has business been? It's been interesting with all the road construction going right. on, and next year it'll be even more fun. So, but so winter, we need a big push in the winter. We need a big push in the winter, and we need people to be willing to come out and, and join us. We've got fun festivities coming up here for Fall Festival yeah. and for Old Fashioned Christmas and different things coming up, so just keep watching for them. So the chocolate shop has been around for a while, and yep. you are the owner. How long have you been working here at the chocolate shop? Since 1984, part-time. Okay. Full-time since 89, a long time. I started as an infant, really small. So infant. you just grew up with chocolate? Pretty much, yes. Okay. Pretty What's much. What's your favorite part about the chocolate shop? People. I like to see the people, talk to the people. That has always been my favorite part of it. And how do you make some of these very special items? I mean, you have so many options. We hand dip everything here. Our shop is unique in that, that everything we do here is hand dipped. What's made on site, we do all our own caramel, toffee, the cream centers, the truffles, everything. Wow. So, and we bring in lots of old fashioned candies too. We like to have the old fashioned candy necklaces and sure. stuff like that. So. Yeah. Candy. Candy. A lot of candy. What's your favorite? What is the most popular item that you sell? Usually turtles. And as you can see, we've got a few trays empty right now that I need to get to That's work good. On. That's I good, though. I mean, business is here. Yes. So turtles are our most popular item. We sell a lot of fudge this time of year and caramel apples. Oh, yeah. We sell a lot of caramel apples, and we do those plain or with, um, car we do caramel chocolate, and then we do caramel chocolate and nuts. Okay. So, so holiday season coming up, I mean, it is just around the corner. Thankfully, it's still nice out now, but Christmas will be here soon enough. Yes. What is the most popular item for presents for Christmas? Just a random assortment gift box is usually okay. the most, what people will come in, and if you don't know the person, we just pick the most popular items. Oh. Anything that we sell a ton of, that's what we put in there. We don't put in the orange peels necessarily because that's a little bit more of a different taste yeah. that's not always the best <laughs> right so we don't do that but we do a lot of the turtles caramels sure. toffees and stuff like that okay um, orange peel is a bit of a, an acquired it taste 100 okay. percent, and it's not my acquirement <laughs> so I but it them. is some people's it is definitely we we d i dip a lot of things that i yeah no i don't know why but <laughs> do you do the potato chips the we chippers do, we okay. do we do a lot of people potato like chips and we also are starting to do something called chip bark because we lose so many potato chips if they're not big enough to dip okay. that we have started smushing them and making a bark out oh of them Oh my now. goodness. Okay. So Sounds really healthy. hundred percent. hundred percent. You got your potato, you got your bean, it's a salad, there right? There you go. It's a salad. <laughs> we'll go salad. with that. So we have to mention Chris is here because the fall festival, a big part of that is the dog costume co or pet. It can be any pet costume contest. What more can you tell us about that, Lynette? Well, last year we had Moose on to talk about it, and, and so this year we went the complete opposite to show <laughs> you we can guy. go tiny gal. too, <laughs> gal. And so bring your pets out at 2 o'clock on Saturday the 28th and show them off in their costumes. And if there's going to be prizes for costumes when you match your animal, yeah. there'll be prizes for best dress. Um, I don't think they've come up with a naughtiest pet yet. Oh, though. okay. That not would be yet. mine. Mine would win it hands down, so they have not done that yet. But it's a fun time, and it's yeah. an awesome opportunity to dress your animals up and go out. Yeah, Chris. So, Chris Pluto, will you and Maisie be there? Of course we will. Okay. Are you going to dress up with Maisie, or is she just going oh, to be the star? Yeah. Do, do you know what she'll be wearing? Uh, well, you have to come see. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so, does Maisie like to dress up? Uh, usually. Okay. So today's a, a wonderful day for her to be out and about. <laughs> yeah. So. And what are you most excited about for the fall festival coming up on Saturday? Just the people. Yeah. Seeing the people out, small communities. Yeah. Why should people come out? Just to see everything that's in the small community. It's, it's already be redundant there, but yeah, it's. Yeah, but it's fall. Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful yeah. time to be out in historic Manorville. Yeah. It's such a beautiful town, and the people will be out. There's so many options for you to check out. We saw the Art Guild. We saw Manorville Square, and of course, the Chocolate Shop, the Hubble House. There's so many options. The park is beautiful. So, okay. Thanks, Chris. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, thanks for showing off Maisie. You've been very good. Yeah, you've been very good. You're kind of a TV star here today, aren't you, Maisie? All right, best of luck at the contest coming up on Saturday. <laughs> and Lynette, watch the people come out. 
We also are offering a haunted hay wagon ride. Oh, that's it's right. It's absolutely free. And what it is is like talking about the different stories that have been told about all the buildings Ooh. that you go by. Um, are I, some haunted? Is the chocolate they, shop haunted? Not here. Oh, no. okay. okay. It's interesting, but I've had several people tell me not here yet. Oh. Yet. Who knows? <laughs> you never know in this town. Things change, and we've gotten different readings on different buildings, and it's just kind of fun. I like to put the stories out there so people can hear it yeah. and show just showcase a little bit of the town and it's good for the haunted hayride exactly <laughs> exactly it shows off the buildings in this town that the Manorville restoration has done a fantastic job of upkeeping and presenting to the yeah, public so. because the buildings are old they are very old there are some of them going back to 1858 yes which is impressive when can people check out the haunted hayride where do they go they can it'll start out right in front of the um, opera house okay. so if you come i believe it's from 11 to 3 that the haunted hay wagon ride will run okay yes. and when can they come to the chocolate shop whether it be during the fall festival or during any other day of the week we're the only day we're not here is mondays okay so otherwise we're open six days of the week we're wow. always here from 11 30 to 5 for sure we we do extended hours for different things and right now when the trolleys come into town we're actually here till seven o'clock yes. on thursday night thursdays are popular in manorville yes. thursday night we get the trolley people coming out so we stay late and we're here okay so if you're riding the trolley bring your wallet because there are a lot of places there to are. stop that stay open yeah. for the folks traveling on the trolley 100 percent. and right. people are really good about working with it too yeah. making sure that they're open and as it gets a little darker, making sure some lights are on. Right. <laughs> so. that, that's true. Thank you so much, Lynette. Chris, appreciate it. Uh, Fall Festival coming up on Saturday. All the details on our website. That's kttc.com. Chocolate Shop is open every day besides Monday. You can come get some items here in Manorville. Maybe get your Christmas gifts early yep. this year. Or you know? early. Yeah. Definitely right. order them early. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, we have to take a break now. We'll be right back.